Hey there! Today we're going to talk about this pen by Siahi. This is the Crown model uh, and it was sent to me for review purposes. Interesting pens made of wood, interesting nib options too, so I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, let's look at the Siahi Crown. Uh, Siahi, as I understand it, is the Urdu word for ink, which I think is rather cool. Uh, the pen comes in rather a large box. Uh, also came with this. Now, I don't know if this was thrown in for me to, uh, to review or if all these pens come with it, but comes with a cute little uh, pen pouch, which I don't think is real leather, but I could be wrong. There is this. Then there is a little sort of booklet, um, quality check. That's always nice that they take the time to do that. More companies could benefit from that. And here we have the box with a little um, smuggling compartment, which is always useful. And then there is the actual pen, the Siahi Crown. This particular model is made in a very nice wood, ebony wood, feels very solid, uh, has some brass trims, which I also rather like, uh, and uh, I'll cover the parts in just a second. Just so you know, the pen is $169, and what I particularly enjoyed, uh, beyond the wood and all that, is that it comes with a very nice range of nibs. So you can get this all the way from extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad in steel. Now you can get a semi-flex fine or medium nib. And then for a little bit extra, you can get gold nibs, fine, medium, or broad 14K nibs for $80 extra, which I don't think is terrible. I see a lot of companies now charging $150 or more extra for gold nibs, so I think 80 is quite decent. You can even get a 14 karat uh, semi-flexible fine or medium nib. So I really don't think that is that bad. It's quite a decent range of nibs. Okay, let's cover the parts of the pen. On top here, you have this, uh, uh, I assume is wood, and it looks rather polished and it feels rather nice. We have a clip, brass, nice and springy. We have, of course, the ebony wood, which is rather nice. Brass center band with the Siahi logo, which is actually four nibs. I don't know how well you can see that on this, but it's on there as well, kind of like that. Barrel, which tapers down here at the end, and this is not a blind cap or anything. It's just the end of the barrel. Pen on screws, you have a plastic section, and in this case, a uh, flexible nib, or I think they call it semi-flexible, but in any case it is a flexible nib. Threads, section, tapers down, flares out a tiny bit, and then you have the cartridge converter filled pen. Rather nice, comfortable size, um, pen does not post, really. I mean, I guess you could sort of make it work, but I don't think it was meant to be posted. So there we have that. I am just grabbing my trusty Lamy Safari so you can see the size comparison. And as you can see, these pens are not that far removed from each other in size. The Siahi is just a little girthier. Okay, let's see how this pen writes. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Blue Water Ice by Robert Oster. <coughs> Sorry, that's the ink. Siahi Crown. Uh, so this is the, I thought it was the fine uh, semi-flex nib. And Robert Oster, Blue Water Ice is the ink. Writing. This is a rather feedbacky nib. Mm. 
not the smoothest riding experience I've ever had, but it is rather fine. And we'll get back to this when we start flexing things. Fast writing. I think this performs rather well because the feed keeps up really well with me uh, kind of abusing it and going super, super, super fast. Wetness. Well, there is some wetness there, which is rather nice. Now, of course, what you really want to know, because I know people love flex, let's see how the nib performs. And I'm going to push this pretty hard. I will be fair. Number six nib, by the way, which is kind of nice, huh? I'm not holding back. I'm also not going very slow. That is a pretty nice performance, if you ask me, because only at this very end did it start to railroad. Full disclosure, though, I have just inked up this pen, and I'll come back to why in a minute. So I'm sure that if I were to dry this out a little bit, and I do have a tissue here, if you really want to see it, let me see if I can just empty what is the ink that is caught in the feed at the bottom there. Shall we try this again? I want to give you the full experience. And there we go, and it railroads a lot faster. So this is the type of pen where you may want to prime the feed a little bit if you're going to do a lot of flexing. And again, I'll come back to this, okay? Reverse writing is very scratchy, but you can get away with a number of words there. If you really have to, it is an option. Okay. End of the writing sample. Let's talk about what I like about this pen and what I not like about this pen. Okay. What do I like? What do I not like about the Siahi Crown? Well, I don't have that much to say about it. There's a couple of things I really like. Handmade pen, that's cool. Not a kit pen, that's cool. Wood pen, that's cool. I don't particularly care for wooden pens. That's just a personal preference. But if you have to have a wood pen, I will say it looks cool, it feels good. Not much to complain about. So that is all really, really nice. The plastic section. That's something we need to talk about. Because your initial response may be, well, if the whole pen's made of wood, wouldn't it look really cool if the section was made of wood? Yes. It would. It would also stain if you were to dip it in an ink bottle and draw up ink. So in that regard, I don't think a plastic section is that bad an idea. Here is something that was a bit of an issue. The pen runs dry rather quickly if you have not primed the feed and you are flexing this nib. It is a semi-flex slash flex nib, but the feed is plastic. It simply does not keep up with the ink demand. So if you buy this to really flex, to do calligraphy, to do any of the fun stuff that you could do with a flex nib, it could really benefit from an ebonite feed or something that is at least a lot wetter. Now, a nibmeister may be able to help you out there, but of course, ideally, you would like this to work straight away. I don't think these feeds are perfect for this particular flex nib. Having said that, there's one more thing that I should comment on. These pens I found, pens, because I have two Siahi pens here to review, dry out very quickly. Aziza contacted the owner of the company and he said, well, yes, these caps are actually not 100% airtight, as I understand the story. The reason being that if you uh, were to fly with it, we don't want this to draw a vacuum and have ink pop out, because if ink hits the inside of the cap, if it hits the pen, the pen will be damaged irreparably because I'm assuming the wood sucks up the ink, you will never get it out, wood will stain, wood may be warped, I don't know. In any case, it's an issue. I understand that, I'm good with all that, I like the reasoning, the only issue is, what if you don't fly with a the pen, then you have a pen that dries out really quickly, and that's what happens. Don't use it for just a few days, and the pen won't write when you uncap it, you have to prime the feed. Is that a big issue? Well, I suppose that's up to you as the end user. To me, that would drive me pretty nuts. But it was a very specific design choice, right? So we can talk long and short about that. It was a design choice. This is how it is. 
Bottom line, $169 for a handmade wooden pen. I don't think that is terrible. Um, you have a nice number of nib options. As I said, you can upgrade to gold, you can do all that stuff. Uh, I have another Siahi pen with a double broad nib, same feed, and the, the feed runs fine. So this feed issue really extends to the flex, or what they call the semi-flex nibs. Uh, beyond that shouldn't really be an issue. Tolerances are good. The pen seems to be well made, well put together, so all of that is cool. A kind thank you to Siahi for sending over the pen. I really appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.